It was really an incredible experience, and it's difficult to put it into words, the mixture of emotions and feelings that you have when you're going out the door the first time. You know, we've been training, Christina and I have both been training together for over six years now, and a lot of the spacewalk training that we do is a major component of that training on the ground. So we feel very comfortable and familiar with the suits, with the tools, with all the interfaces that we know how to use, and you really develop this muscle memory and what it's like to work in the suit, but all of that is based underwater in the neutral buoyancy lab back in Houston. So it's a totally different feeling suddenly when you're up here at the same suit, the same tools, but of course we're weightless for the first time. And so the interesting part is that some of the challenges we have underwater in the pool that make it difficult in the pool are actually opposite challenges that we have here in space. You don't have the drag of the water, but of course it's easy to get going. It's hard to stop. So your brain has to try to interpret all these things from the way that you've been training it for so long. But I will never forget that moment coming out the hatch and looking down and seeing just my boots and the earth below and it was such a spectacular and beautiful sight it's re it was really quite overwhelming and we went out and did the job that we had to do and we're lucky enough to have some time to enjoy the view as well that's absolutely right i've definitely drawn encouragement from mentors that i can see reflections of myself in throughout my life and so recognizing that we may be offering that for future space explorers or explorers of any kind or anyone pursuing a dream was definitely a privilege and an honor. And I would say that if anything, it just added to the moment, it added to the amazing experience of being able to contribute to this program in that way. It added to the experience of kind of a culmination of so much of our training ending up in that moment when we stepped out the hatch or floated out the hatch. So I would say that it I wouldn't call it a weight, I would call it the opposite. I would call it something uplifting, something that allowed us to be our best, to bring our best to that day, and to recognize that we have a gift and an opportunity to potentially inspire the future.